Hi, I'm Claire Aiken with the Fiddly Fig Plant Resource Center, and today we're going to talk about how much light your plant needs. Now, a lot of times people ask me, you know, can I grow a fiddly fig in my house? How much light does it need? Where should I put it? And the answer is that these plants are from Western Africa, and so they are used to a lot of light. Um, they can actually do really well in full sun in Africa. And so that is, you know, like the maximum amount of life that a, ho that a house plant would really need. And so they are, um, you know, lovers of light. And so that's something to keep in mind. However, they can adapt. And so when a new fiddly fig in the wild starts growing, it's actually under the rainforest canopy and it's not getting a lot of direct light. And so they can grow up and adapt to conditions where they're not getting a lot of light. And then they can adapt again and do very, very well in full sunlight. And so the, the long answer is, you know, that it kind of depends um, on the plant and that your plant can adapt. And the short answer is, um, you know, they really do like sun. And so you should put them for optimal growth and optimal health in the sunniest part of your house. And so if you live in North America, like I do, I live in San Diego, the south facing windows in my house get the most sunlight. And so the way you want to think about light in your house is which direction does your house face? And so if you live in North America, the sun is going across the sky in the south. And so you'll want to use south facing windows because the amount of light that your plant gets, it's not only the strength of the light. So the afternoon sun is very, very hot and could burn the leaves of a fiddle leaf fig, but you also want to think about the duration of the light that it gets. And so if your plant is getting light all day long through a Southern window, that's much better than a little bit of sunlight in the morning, say in an East facing window where the sun rises or a burst of hot, hot sun in the afternoon in a west facing window as the sun is setting. That's really the worst scenario. North facing windows can work. In fact, I have a very healthy fiddle leaf fig in a north facing window in my house. But keep in mind, I live in the southern United States, so it's probably a little bit brighter than if you live in Canada. There's going to be less sun coming in from the north, but it also depends on the size of your windows. So if you have floor to ceiling windows like I do in the north, that could provide more sunlight than if you have a small window in the south. So it really depends on your home, but the general rules are that you're going to want to put your fiddle leaf fig in the sunniest area of your house, especially if you're having problems with it. When people are having problems, um, from overwatering, or if your plant is turning yellow from lack of sunlight, um, you want to move it to the sunniest area of your house to let it recover. And so that's really what I recommend anytime you're seeing problems with your plant. And if you want new growth and um, photosynthesis works on, you know, creating, collecting energy from the sun so that your plant can grow. So if you're not seeing growth, you want to move it to a sunnier area and fertilize it more often. And so that's what I recommend. And so if you don't have a really sunny area of your house, or if you live in you know, an area of the country where you're not getting a lot of sunlight, you can use grow lights. And so these are lights that are designed to give your plant energy, just like sunlight, but you put them on your plant and you turn them on and they're powered by electricity. And so that's a great option. You can check out the links below for grow lights. It's a bummer because you know sometimes you want your fiddle leaf fig for ambience in your home and adding a grow light maybe isn't the most beautiful thing, uh, but you can go ahead and add that and that can get it through the winter or that can give it more sunlight um, You know if you're not having enough light in your home. And the other thing I would just want to tell you about lighting is that these plants really will adapt. And so the best thing to do is to find the place that you want your fiddle leaf fig to live and leave it there. So don't move it around a lot because that can stress your plant. In fact, even turning your plant can stress it. So you want to rotate your plant one quarter each month so that it gets adequate lighting on all sides. But if you have a plant that's been growing towards a window for months or years, and then you turn it away from the window, that can actually stress your plant. And so you want to just keep all of your movements um, very consistent and very small so that your plant gets happy where it's at and adapts to the light conditions where it is. Because if you think about these plants in the wild, they're always in the same place. No one is ever going to turn them or move them and the sun is always in the same place. So they really like to stay put. And so um, pick the, the place in your house that has the most sunlight for where you want your plant, 
leave it there and it will adapt and it will do very well. If it's a low light area, you'll want to cut back on the watering. And if it's a high light area, you're going to want to give it a little bit more water. So those are kind of my rules and my tips and tricks for light when it comes to fiddly figs. I hope that's helpful and check out the resources below.